and take two. Yes, yes, Rasco and Disco beer review with me, Disco, on Saturday night live beer chats on a Saturday night beer show. Uh, greetings, welcome along, thanks for popping in. Uh, and if you're watching this after as well, good to see you. Now, regular viewers might be a bit wondering what on earth my ugly mug is doing up at the front of the show. It's normally Rasco takes the lead and I, I come in. Uh, doing it a little bit differently tonight, Rasco said uh, a few, uh, had a bit of a delay, a bit of a home uh, situation. Uh, hopefully he'll be along uh, very shortly and hopefully I'll be able to let him in the chat with this new free window, three or four window configuration on uh, Instagram that we found out the other week that Rasco could do, uh, I might not be able to do. Um, but uh, thanks everybody for uh, being in uh, anyway. Good to see you there. Uh, Raggy, I can see that uh, Rasco's looking in. Uh, and I believe if I do this properly, Some invites so let's see if that works now i didn't do that last time so fingers crossed and everything crossed keep your beer charged up and hopefully it works well there we go <laughs> greetings gentlemen greetings <laughs> thanks for hello, popping hello, on. Hello. more than one people on screen on screen i couldn't do that last time so it's new for all of us uh craig how you doing sir greetings i'm doing doing all right um been a busy day but which is fine but but yeah super cheers for having me on no problem no I, believe, I believe this is your first instagram live you said to us the other day is that right yeah i've never been on never done anything like this before i've, I've been mean well. to <laughs> but, but just you know just no again but really well, we are more than honoured, sir, that uh, as is the first stream you've done. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Welcome along and cheers. And uh, hello there, Rasco. How are you doing, sir? Everything all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good. I might have to dash off from time to time, but who knows what's going to happen. Uh, I'm pretty exhausted, mate. I've, uh, I've had a hectic week, uh, but I'm good. I'm happy. Um, yeah, so I'm keen for some beer, man. I'm very keen for some beer. My beers are lined up. Um, this is actually, I've only got three, be four beers left in my entire stash. Wow. And all of them happen to be Ants Match and Hob Day. <laughs> cool. cool. Yeah. What have you got lined up, Craig? Um, I've got, well, I mean, I haven't reviewed this yet. I was going to, but I was like, oh, I'll just get another can. Um, so I've got like, um, I think it's Time and Tide's latest release there, Jack Spratt. Ah, yeah, they, I saw about that. That was uh, um, that's like an addition to the Sprat Waffler. It's yeah, like a series, isn't it? Mm. Well, they got the Sprat Waffler, they got and um, Super Sprat, and um, yes, yeah, a Sprat Waffler is their one of their core range. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of I think this is sort of placed in between the two ABV. You mean this one here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, well, I, I thought I'd do that one, knowing that you was going to probably do Time and Tide. It's the only one I've, I've actually got in. I got it in in a, in a delivery the other week uh, because you mentioned Time and Tide. So, I'll try that one in a bit. But uh, sorry, what else have you got? Um, I've decided exactly. Um, oh, cool. You, you can. You can. This is. Um, There'll probably be another local brewery from some Breweries, their Batch 1000, which is an Imperial Chocolate Stout, 10%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Nice, nice, we've, uh, nice. We've never quite got round onto Wonsom. I think Rascal's had a couple of Wonsom beers. Um, we've never looked, to, we've, we're aware of them, but um, we've never looked into them too deeply. But it's definitely one that's on the radar. I've seen them about on the socials and their beers, their chocolate beers especially. Yeah, so right, generally a really good traditional craft beer brewery. So. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's a really good looking sorry Rasco I was going to say it's a really good looking stash you got there behind you my my, my stash these are all empties but you've uh, that is your beer that's all the full ready to go no, they're all empty even yes. oh right <laughs> <laughs> I've got my stouts there they're, they're about <laughs> there I've got a few other bits and bats that cheers Tom in the, I've, I've got a few other these these uh, little things he yeah. kindly sent me for my birthday well, cool. I've still got 
yeah. oh, that, it, was just, it was just the way you turned around and picked up the beer there and I thought you got it all like that was all that was all your stash lined up <laughs> either way it looks it looks a good line up there there's plenty in the fridge as well downstairs, so... Uh. <laughs> hey! Well, yeah, I know that feeling. Sorry, Rasko, go on. No, it's all right. So, Craig, are you going to do us a live review on air and show us amateurs how it's actually done? If I have to. But not, 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 I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's how it's done. It's just how I do it. It's just... <laughs> That's good enough. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Perfect, mate. Perfect, perfect. Well, I'll just talk you through what I've got. I've got this by um, Polly Island, um, the Superman's Big Sister Imperial Mole Stout. I don't know what the mole is all about. Um, and that's ranging, um, uh, it's probably a high percentage. I can't actually see. But yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that. Um, I've got this thing I can't even pronounce. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rojas Burris. I'm assuming it's a lager. It's like, Rojas. yeah, five point one percent. I don't pronounce it either. Yeah, and I, I don't know. Has anyone seen this? Uh, has anyone heard about this by any chance? <laughs> you know, it, has it been on social media by any chance? No, uh, you know, I mean it's a pretty can and everything, but <laughs> well, looks all right. a bit pink, but yeah, looks all right. Yeah, well, well there you go. You know, you know, try it. Yeah. Why not you? Yeah. <laughs> they, indeed, they didn't have the whole box set in Tesco. They just had that. Um, so I brought that and some cans of Jaipur. Um, and back to a point that, you know, I'm kind of, well, this is labouring back. I've, I've now discovered beer in Tesco. So I don't, Tesco's not on my radar a lot. It's just not on my routine. Um well, I've seen the beer range. I think, well, that's a good range. And I keep looking at the prices. And I think I've got to keep coming back. So inadvertently, Cloud of War have diverted me from my two sources of beer. And I've been to Tesco's twice now in the past month where I hadn't before. So look, there you go. There you go. There's one of the things we all said would happen. Anyway, we've all labored over that point. There you go. I've been converted to Tesco. I, I like Raggy's comment there. Raggy says, I don't keep empties. And I'm like, well, you've got the space for it, but uh, uh, it's probably very sensible. I've, you can't see in front of me there. I've got all the boxes that I've, I've had over the year. I was trying to do a little video of like a mass collection of all the beers that I've done over the year. And they're all in the boxes mm. over there. And I've got to line them up and film them. And it was it's getting quite a lot. So Raggy not keeping empties is probably a good idea. Hello, what Lucy. You, Good what to do see you, you. Do you keep empties as the artwork, or do you just sing them? All right, miss. Um, oh, well, hi, Lucy. Start on this. The start on this, mate. Um, Aroma-wise, it is it is very fetching, very hoppy and fresh. Oh. I'm looking. For, I'm actually generally looking forward to it now. But no, Craig, don't let me stop you. Hit us up. Show us how it's done, man. It's an honour to have you on the show. Nah, thanks for having me. Um, so yeah, uh, time and tide. I, I'm trying to remember when they first started. I'm probably going to be out the, the, the year. I think it's about like something like 2013. Um, I mean, I first started drinking or trying their beers. There's a pub in Ramsgate called the Queen's Head. And this, I think this mm. was about 2013, 2014 sort of time. Uh, oh, that's good. That's, that's, oh dear. I don't know, that's not good then. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, and I've, I've been a fan since when I first started out, to be honest. Um, they, had, they started out doing some like 330 mil. They went into the 330 mil cans um, back around that time. And yeah, they, they've just grown ever since. Um, I've still not been, never been to the brewery, but hopefully hopefully this year or, or whenever that will change, I'll get down there to, to actually meet them. I've never met them. But um, been, I started drinking and reviewing their beers for a long time. And certainly over the last couple of years, I've, they've really, they've really hit their stride, I think. Um, but yeah, so this is the uh, Super Sprat. It's a uh, 5.6% uh, ABV 
IPA, uh, single hop citra. Um, it's got Maris Otter, Pilsner, Flake, Barley and Oats. Uh, yeast is London Ale Free. 30 IBU, so nothing crazy bitterness, anything like that. So it's hazy, as you expect. Um, I assume it's got oat snip, yeah. Uh, water, barley, oats, hops and yeast. Um, so it's, it's poured out a nice kind of, um, it's quite a pale orange, I guess. Um, mm. The light lightens in this room is a bit iffy. But, but yeah, good idea. Um, didn't pour much of a head. Um, half finger, if you like, just off white head. Nothing crazy. So yeah, as you'd expect, single hop citra, it's, it's kind of in your face. It's it's, um, it's quite um what's the word you know like uh, wild flowers I and mean, it's got citrus tones obviously but then it's got wild flower kind of um, buttercup like thing going on it's quite well a little bit of sweetness in there as well it just it just smells up par of what they what they generally produce. Um, they seem to be very consistent, and they've they've changed things up a lot with their core range beers, with uh, the London Ale Free yeast. Um, the last sort of six to eight months, I, I, you know, I, I, I've lost track of time to be honest with you. Um, well, like, like everyone, I guess, with the way things have been, but um, yeah, nice nice citrus tones. There's a little bit of kind of uh, pale stone fruit thing going on in there. Yeah, sounds nice. Let's give it a give it a whirl then. Cheers. 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 It just glides down. It's um wow. How thirsty as well. Um kind of a soft quite a soft uh pillowy mouthfeel. Um it starts off with a nice kind of light citrus fluffy kind of character and then it it's like that slowly fades and then there is a although it's only 30 IBUs it does kind of lift up not too much so for me it's come across quite balanced I say it's the first time I've had this one it's their newest one I've had this about a week um, I actually purchased this one at the um, the bottleneck in Broadstairs uh, mm -hmm. been under new ownership since I think the the end of last year uh, and he's been getting all sorts of pretty nice beers in and he's going to get a lot more Belgian uh, a lot more German beers coming in later in the year he's actually moved from Germany to to, to, my, to uh, Broadstairs so um, that's, that's, where, okay. that's where I got this one from but yeah overall it's it's what you would expect from Time and Tide um, I've, I've, I've come to really be Quite anything that new comes out, I, I often grab few places locally up and just pick things up. But yeah, really good to hear. I mean, it's just out of the fridge, so there might be a few flavour notes that follow through in say like 10 15 minutes or whatever. But so you've moment, got, I mean, at the moment, that, that, sorry, go on, Craig, I'm going to interrupt. That's it. For now. <laughs> I was just saying, you've got effectively the big, the big brother to, to this one, the Sprat Waffle. Is it presumably it's the same recipe and the same uh, goes into it? Just just a higher ABV. I just guess more hops in there. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I mean, I don't. I've, I can only go with what I've got on the back of the can. So yeah, Maris Otter, pills, pills the uh, flake barley and oats as the malt, and then Citra, the hops, London Ale Free, which is the yeast. Obviously, six, uh, five point six thirty IBU. Um, oh uh, right, this is New England yeast. Sorry? This, is, this one says New England yeast. Um, in so that would be... When's the best before of that can? Oh, um, last month, to be fair. I got it on a really good deal from your local. Right, yeah. Um, that, and, a, I was going to say, that's the, old, that's the old version. Right, so the new Sprat Waffle has got, got the new yeast in it, so it'd be a different flavour entirely, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Despite it being despite it being it right at the back end of the... Uh, best before i think it still really holds up it's a really good flavor um i'm not a big fan of citrus i keep saying but a uh, citra but that's actually really nice it's quite a gentle one it's um like wow. say, a good mouthfeel and uh, a really nice gentle drink be interesting to see what the big brother and the big brother one how they stack up 
yeah. against each other. Would you do that, right, Thomas? Yeah. Uh, yeah no, and hi to Ty. Uh, time for a brew podcast. I just saw come through there. Uh, thanks for popping Hello, Adam. on our guest last week. Indeed. That was a great show, by the way. We should plug last week's show, which you can watch on Instagram, and it will be available on YouTube this week, um, by the way. I just thought I'd mention that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, so, Craig, that was a brilliant review, mate. It is it's fantastic to see you live in the virtual sense doing it um, on our show. Very detailed and much more detailed than probably either of us could do because you know all i can say is that about the smell and this it's very fruity and very um inviting um it's a bit bitter um it is nice yeah i can confirm it is nice um but it's it's not you know it's not going to change my world if i'm honest um it's perfectly drinkable there you go well done cloud war and tesco I've said something good about you. Um, <laughs> Let's see how it goes there. That's a great shout from Lucy. A bit of local knowledge. A sprat waffler is a colloquial term for someone who originates from the north end of Deal. And Deal surely is not that oh. big a town, so that's quite a niche reference. Yeah. I mean, another thing is, um, what, I think it's just, uh, on from that, is um, they've got a lot of small kind of like fishing boats they have up on the shore as well um and they these these small boats they go out for like sprats that sort of thing and then they bring them in and they sell them the guys that off the boat then start off their shop off the boat literally to the public right on the shore yeah. and they get they, they were nick, then got the nickname called sprat wafflers because they used to sell them there or sometimes they cook them up and all this sort of thing right on the beach straight off the sea superb <laughs> <Top of fresh. laughs> I'm, I'm probably wrong mm. but yeah mm. there's a little bit of story there it's not the side of, I've, I've, I've mostly been to if I've been to Kent I've mostly been sort of north side of Kent rather than like that kind of deal Dover side uh, I have been to Deal but it's a long long time ago yeah it's a nice town deal it's a nice yeah town. yeah I'm go over next time I was in. I'm in Kent. I'm in Kent quite frequently these days. I was there twice last week. Um, okay. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. Strictly on work though, sadly. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Not. Hmm. Yeah. Depends how you organise your work. Anyway, um, Rescue. You have to uh, organise. I see. I see these people on like Twitter and stuff all the time. I'm just organising a work meeting to be in a town where there happens to be a certain pub or bar. Or, or whatever, or football match, or whatever. <laughs> yes, true. Just to get back to last week's show and what we did, it was the final of the Brewery World Cup on Twitter, oh, yes. hosted by a Time for a Brew podcast. And as we kind of all sensed, um, the Green Duck Brewery won it and offed. I mean, they really did off pretty much everyone going big in brewing. In, um, and they beat uh, Verdun. Um, conclusively by about over 10%. Well done. We all knew it. Um, Craig, you, you're a bit of a knowledge guru. Have you had a, anything from Green Duck Brewery? No, I've never had nothing. Yeah. Right. Well, that makes three of us then. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've, I've only recently heard of them, to be fair, as well. So. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd sort of heard of them this year and then, then that got reinforced, as I say, because we were getting really interested in doing the doing the uh, talk about uh, the, the, the Brewery World Cup the Time for Brew podcast was doing. Uh, and I looked on their website and I nearly made an order, but one of the ones I wanted, like a honey a honey stout, had sold out. And then after after they won it, I went back on there and one of the other ones I'd wanted was also sold out. So I ended up not actually placing an order with them, but I will keep them in mind and uh, have a look when they get some more stock back. Because I think it's done well for them. They've, They've done well on sales, and like you say, they've they've got the name into uh, a lot of people's social media. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, none of us have heard of well, I hadn't heard of them, um, and you know, they're definitely on the hit list now. Um, once again, thank you, Adam Graver, for putting that together. Uh, if you haven't don't know who he is, check him out on Twitter. Um, 
and his podcast, which is pretty cool. He's got a wide range of people on his podcast. It's impressive how he's done it. Yeah. So check him out. Um, and I think that concludes uh, several weeks of talking about the uh, Puri World Cup. <laughs> He did, he, did have a great, he did have a great comment on Twitter the other day because he's been doing this for weeks and obviously dealing with all the messages and postings and organising the, the polls and stuff. And he did say on like Tuesday, I'm like, I'm a bit bored now. I don't know what to do. I've got to continue social media. <laughs> and people started suggesting, oh, I'll do something like the Pub World Cup or the, um, this, that and the other World Cups. <laughs> Gonna do it every four, are you going to do it every four years or is it just a yearly thing? Uh, it's every year. So around about the yeah. beginning of April every year. Uh, but he had, he started off, was he 500 and something breweries this year, just mm. based on uh, what people have, 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 you know, what he knows and what he's seen and, and some suggestions and stuff like yeah. that. So now he's got a load more suggestions that didn't obviously make it this year. So he said he might end up with something like 700 breweries to start with. Yeah. In the in the prelims, in the heats, like just in the in the region, I like is the heats. So he's going to have even more work next year. Uh, and there he's just said, "Yeah, children, uh, well worth trying the beers." I guess green duck. Uh, and he's been very yeah, because he, obviously he had some green duck. Uh, he was he was very impressed with the beers. So um, it's one to look out for and to to keep up with and uh, yeah, see what happens as it goes further down the year. Um, they have yeah. got they have got a web shop. They have got national delivery, so it's something that uh, if they hadn't sold out of the the, the mild and the uh, the stout that I really wanted, um, mm. they've, they've got they've got they've got a good range on there, like the IPAs and the uh, ales and stuff. I just tend to shy away from them a little bit, but looks like they've got some good stuff on there. So we'll see how that develops. Yeah. Well, yeah, definitely. Um... Just further, like this cloud wars, I'm getting a bit of heartburn. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not saying it's cloud water, but I'm, I'm getting a bit of heartburn <laughs> while I'm drinking this. That's all I'm going to say. I've, I'm seen, say. I've yeah. seen varying reviews of those beers. Like some people say they're great, some people are average, and like, you know, um, yeah. It, it's good. I'm, yeah, I'm not, I'm more interested in the uh, Vault City beers, the, uh, the new ones. Yeah. Have you, have you? Not yet. Have you to get them? You haven't got them yet? No, I mean, I've, at the moment, I've, I don't, I've got a fair few beers to be getting on with, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, identify I, with that. Because <laughs> I, I, I was in that phase where I've had, I've had some time off the, the beer. I had like two or three weeks off at one point, but in that sort of time as well, I was still buying stuff and it's like, and then I've just, I've got to stop and then, more local beers, new local beers come out. So I'll, I'll grab them and then, and then it's just silly. Mm. Yeah. 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 Um, I've done the same this week. I mean, I see like I, I, one of one of the breweries I follow a lot is is, is uh, Brass Castle, and they bought a couple of beers out this week, and I'm like, oh, mm. I'll go on then. <laughs> like I might as well. I've, I've 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 tried all the others, and I like their beers, so. Yeah, I'll just get another delivery in this week. Why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, just another shout out. Um, this week, um, it popped up on the screen uh, is that the Bubble podcast hosted by the Craft Beer Boys. Um, they did a special interview with um, someone I know. Well, I don't know them, but I've seen on Instagram is the uh, London Pub Explorer. Right. And they did an actual interview with this guy. And if anyone knows who he is and follows him, um, he's someone you know, he actually does do some good on social media and it's worth reading his um, reviews or what he says not just clicking liking the photo getting to the next one as a lot of us everyone does on Instagram read what he has to say he is a fantastic beer historian in his essays and Johnny and I forget the other guy it wasn't Brad interviewed him and it's a golden interview it's talking about pubs in London uh, the death of them, how gentrification is changing, uh, pub culture, um, what the old boozer is, um, and how does got craft fit into that? That gets mentioned. It's a great interview. Check it out. But also, London Pub Explorer has got himself a little bit of business, and he's doing tours around um, the East End oh. and doing a Beano run. 
an actual pinot run down the south end oh. inspired by only fools and horses so um i'm gonna definitely book on some one of his tours and um yeah check that out um I'm, I'm, he's a really great he's really well written um stuff i i hope he does a book one day um and it's a fantastic interview. He's a great guy just to listen to. I hope he gets his own radio show or own podcast. I'd listen. Yeah. Um, so that's another shout out for me. Check that out. Um, and another f- guy follow on Instagram. It's funny because when I was watching you on YouTube with um, Jake on Wednesday, there was a guy called Hip Hop. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really yeah. I, I followed him on Instagram. He's amazing. Clever. Yeah. Yeah. Really proper. Amazing. Oh, man. I love that. Yeah, what well, great musical taste. I'm a bit jealous. Wish I'd done that instead of yeah, no, I, I, <laughs> this. I, I followed him. I was like, what's all this? So I looked, oh, the beer. And then you go, the next one, the song. It's like, well, that's, that's, that's uh, different. I like it. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, check that out. He's um, putting a lot of music and beer together. And he's doing a great job of it. A lot of it's American beer. So, you know, um. Uh, what's Lucy saying? What's her number one fan saying? I don't, you guys ever knock a cans in the back? I literally can't even have one empty on the table without whacking it on the floor. That happens, yeah, that happens for me quite a lot, especially, well, it's not me so much. This this table and the, the bar set up's a little bit wobbly, but my main problem is when the cat jumps up on the back of the chair and then she turns around and her mm. fat ass just like... She not even, hasn't even got a fat ass, Mark. Cat, to be fair, she's quite slim, but yeah, she'll turn around like because you know cats like cats are mine all the time, and she'll just take these ones off the corner out like uh, thanks, kitty. Yeah, well, mm. with me, it's if I've got the window open and it's a bit breezy outside, and it just cat it come, it just like <laughs> what is that noise? And then it's like oh, it was about. 15 hands on the floor, whatever. <laughs> yeah, right. So, again, but I need, to, I need to take the labels off. It's just, uh, I just haven't done it for six years. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> you and your sixth year of uh, YouTube and beers. By the way, uh, people don't know, this is Kerry Ken Beer Review on YouTube. Check him out. Brilliant archive of reviews. Um, Yes. You've been going for what, for six years now? Yeah. Um, I started reviewing in actually the end of June of 2015, and then my first review mm. came at the beginning of July of that year. Uh, mm. So, yeah, it's, um, I, I've been, I have these bumps where I, I, I can't be bothered to post reviews every now and again, just so I need a break or. Um, but then once I get into the flow of doing it, it's like, oh, let's just, you know, put a review up, you know, or schedule them up. And I, I, I've been trying, I, probably until about two weeks ago, I've been only drinking at weekends from since the new. Mm. So I've been doing all the reviews, sort of, you know, batch, batch reviews before going on to doing like a, a live stream or something. Um, and then doing them over the weekend and then like release them during the week when I'm not drinking kind of thing. So, so by the time I start drinking again, it's come towards that end of that weekend's beers kind of thing, and then you start again. And you know, the best way I've found, I think I've worked it out. Well, whatever that is, but um, that's the way I do it at the moment, anyway. So, well, it does seem to work because you get the content that way, and you get the stuff up during the week. Like you said, I've always kind of struggled with that. I, I kind of prefer. I think because we, when we started like two years ago, three years ago, we were sort of doing live, we were doing videos like out after a, a night's drinking rather than doing piece to camera videos, obviously like yourself. So I, I find it, I, I prefer doing it kind of in the moment, what I'm drinking right now, like as if I'm having a night in, especially yeah. over the last year as we sort of developed it. So I find it quite hard to do one after, like post one after the event. Like, yeah. You, you, but you, you obviously, uh, obviously, you find it easier just to do the review, do the video. You know, do you do much editing of the videos at all? Um, not really. Just um, if I get to the point where I haven't done any kind of mistakes up until once I've cracked the beer or the can or the bottle or whatever it is, 
then that's it. If, it, if there's mistakes after that's fine because I'm not going to mm. open it. If I make a mistake before, then I'll just stop and then start again. I get the, I try and get that bit. I do anyway. It's probably not right, but I try I, what I think's right. And then after that, I just it is what it is. I've got. I, I always keep them little bits before kind of thing and uh, put them together as a, an outtake kind of video every now and again. I've seen the outtake. Yeah, that's, that's that's a good way. I mean, how much? How much of a perfectionist are you when it comes to the videos? So you say if you don't mind the mistakes being in there, you sort of no, like no. just. I mean, it's a case of um, if if you mind making mistakes, then you never do it. That's the way I look at it. Well, that's what I found. That's why I've, I kind of since October, I, I did quite a lot over last summer, and in October I sort of got a bit fed up with. I'd make a mistake, stop, do it again, oh, and like the one I, the one I did last week. Rather than stop and do it again, I just put it in the like put a title up going, "You dickhead, this is what you're meant to say," like you know, <laughs> which which I thought. Mm. Yeah, no, no. I, I mean, I want to be right, but when it comes to certain, say there's a bit of detail about the beer, or what's in the beer, or if there's a story, then I, I want that to be right. But everything else, you know, I don't. Lucy's offering them to come round to pick the labels off your cans. So, so there you go. Oh, that yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Well. You'll be over it for a while then. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, mm. yeah. so Craig, I noticed you opened something else there. Um, I did. Is that? Yeah, sorry, I had to yeah. Go back and ask you about that. I saw you open it, but yeah, just for now, so I'm double fisting again. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> So that's the want some. Uh, I'm trying to get it in the middle. There you go. So back, yes. Fast one thousand. So okay. This come out before Easter. Um, so it's a five hundred ml bottle, ten percent ABV. Um, yeah, the one thousand through Imperial Chocolate Stout um, goes into other bits and bats. Um, something to help forget how rubbish twenty twenty was. Blah 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 blah. I'm just trying to see if mm. have information about it. I know they've got this sitting in a barrel somewhere. There's going to be a barrel aged version that comes out in, I think it's July or August. Nice. It's nice. But I'm not sure how many bottles they're going to have of that. I think there's about two or three thousand of these. <laughs> Steve, Watson. thanks for popping in. Says hello. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, Steve. Um, so it's Watson, as you say it is. What, what, uh, Watson, the Watson Brewery, yeah. Um, there yes, are, um, yes, now, yeah. Yeah, be at a place called Up Street until about, I don't know, two or three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so the Watson Brewery is named after what, what used to be a, a channel, because um, where I lived, the Isle of Thanet, used to be an island going back a lot years ago, maybe thousands of years ago. So you had the Watson Channel, um, which is still there. Still, there's still a stream there over at Reculver. Um, it's called the Wonson, I don't know what's it's canal or stream or whatever. I'm not it's a river, sure. isn't it? Wonson's a, what, the river Wonson. Yeah. Through. It's, 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 it's small. But, um, well, it's a level land, geography. It's all land now. So it's, it's all been like, um, it's actually reclaimed land. It's just sil it's silted up or whatever it did over time. And it's all, it's, it's all now kind of farm and marshland mm. sort of area. From Reculver, you've got Reculver Town because mm. you had two faults at either end. One was Reculver Towers, and the other one's Ripper, which is just north of Sandwich in East Kent. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. there's some great places down there. Aren't there? <laughs> be like a, uh, you know, that that's the one I would have chosen, Rasko. By the way, I would have said go for that one. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. this is what I'm going for. Good beer, good beer, Tyler. Yeah, but yeah. But no, I have had a Watson in uh, Green Dragon, um, one of my local pubs, um, at Prince of Darkness, and um, another one, I can't remember, on cast. They do appear in the Green Dragon fairly regularly when the Green Dragon was open, bring on May 17th, I might even do a live stream from the Green Dragon, who knows, um, yeah. but yes, um, 
Yeah, no, no I have had them. Thank you, Disco, for remembering that. You know, I had to search the memory banks a bit. I'm sure I was talking to you about them a while back as well. Didn't they have one, like, yes. something to do with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? There's like a chocolate stout in a, like, purpley can. Um, can't remember what it was called. It was like a double chocolate stout, I think. Yeah, they did. They did. And I don't remember anything about it right now. I'm just focusing on my port. Wow, that is clear. <laughs> Uh, so that just a nice head too. recap there for Steve. He says, what are we all drinking? Uh, Steve, I'm drinking Sprat Waffler from Time and Tide down, uh, down there. Craig's way. Uh, Steve, Steve uh, this is uh, my second beer. I was drinking this. Have you heard of this by any chance? I, I don't know. Apparently it's been a bit controversial. <laughs> don't know why. So, I, I'm going to keep on laboring that point all night, by the way. Yeah, I'll that's right. You're so oh, funny. Right. So this is um, what's it called? Yeah, Jack Spratt. So it's Jack nice. We got one over this one from Time and Tide as well. So uh, just down the road. This is the only problem, Craig, with Instagram is the old reverse camera thing. You can't actually read the half the stuff. Mm. Yeah, I just noticed that. It's a real pain. Yeah. There's some logic behind it. They 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 were talking about like why it was and it didn't make any sense to me but it's, it's been it's been i i this i had this vague plan in my head to do it in front of a mirror and like mirror image the stuff but it doesn't work on the phone so it's a bit annoying in front of a mirror no, don't do that in the mirror will crack <laughs> wow yeah. i wasn't looking directly into it <laughs> craig lucy says have you had the citra ass down from Wonson? no not yet um, oh, I've just got that. I don't know why they say can be so <laughs> yeah. um, oh, What's the name? Of the there's, a brewery, oh, there's a brewery in America that had the same name beer, but I can't. For some reason, I can't. Oh, what is it? I do love a good like that and the brown note, and, and I can't remember the name of the brewery. Remember <laughs> like Div. Um, well, that's that's quite a good segue, and uh, just and I just want to say, by the way, thank you to uh, Lucy for a bit of artwork that she did for us this afternoon, and uh, she put up on the story uh, introducing us. I thought it was, oh. I thought it was really good. There was like all uh, beer badges that she's taken and put the Rasco and Disco over the top, so you just show a little bit of the beer label mm. sticking through. Uh, I can identify about 12 of them I think I've got to in the end. Uh, how many did you get to, Wesco? Did you? Did I don't you know. I, I had a look. I recognised most of them. I um, uh, couldn't get all every single one, but, yeah, I've got most of them. I cool. Yeah, yeah, it was like... She's a, talent. She's, a fake. She's a talented artist. She really is. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's coming. Uh, I was impressed that she got Disco Forklift Truck. In, in the name Disco, that was quite good. Um, Made your day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give you a lift, yeah. Which, uh, mm. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I do the jokes around here. No, it's funny, I'll let any jokes, any puns. That's the thing, I love puns and silly wordplay and stuff oh, like that. I get and was... more drunk, because they get more stupid. Oh, the, 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 the sillier the better. Uh, there's funny enough, there's a good segue into what I was going to talk about, like saying about the, the, how daft is craft, like silly beer names. Is it a good idea? Is it something we like? I what do you reckon? I, I don't care as long as the beer tastes all right. Call it what you like. If you can get away with it, of course, because a lot of people can't now. But, yeah. But, mm. The, um, Steve, I saw your previous comment. Yeah, man, no one's heard of this clan boy. I don't know what it's all about. <laughs> Seeing these three legends. Oh, no, there's only one legend here tonight. Me. Um, there's a hyphen. Uh, amazing the weekend, guys. There's a hyphen after the G. It's three legends. Legends. <laughs> <laughs> well, two legends and a legend, anyway. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm, I'm the middle legend, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, the reason I was saying about the silliness of beer, like there was a thing that came out on Twitter the other day that went kind of, uh, as Twitter does, goes a little bit nuts. Uh, there was a, a marketing guy 
he'd done an interview in some marketing magazine yeah. uh, and he was like the head marketer for the group uh, that now own Four Pure and Magic Rock uh, and a couple of others yeah. and basically a lot of a lot of people on Twitter went to town on him and he basically it, it made it, he made himself sound like he didn't actually know that much about beer and um, yeah, I, 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 I read half the article today and as I, as I say, I, I got bored. I'm like, no, I can't be. I'm like, yeah, it, it was one of them like really odd journalism things in a very strange. It was a sort of trade magazine. I, I assume I don't know. Marketingweek.com. It's like one of them things you find on the end, the last round on. Uh, Have I got news for you? Where they blank out the headlines, kind of. <laughs> but it's, it was just a little kind of like shit piece. But he he seemed to be sort of dumping on craft beer a little bit. And he said like. They've they've had four pure have had a of a rebrand and a third rebrand in a I don't know three or four years. Uh, I thought I thought four four pure had gone. I mean I remember them from back in the day with like juice box and easy peeler and stuff like that. They'd often yeah. be on the. Yeah. They've got presence on the Bermondsey Mile, I believe. Yeah, they yeah. got, a, they got a, they, their, their bar looks really. I've never been there. I, I went there before they got bought out and stuff. Um, it's just a bar, uh, just a bar, just a. Um, what you'd expect in a um, kind of an industrial estate. Um, they had the, one of the first, I think they had one of the first Crowler uh, machines in the country. I mean, when this is going back about mm -hmm. four years ago. Yeah. Um, it's just like they have a industrial estate brewery. With a little, had a little I think they were one of the first breweries on the mile, like much further down the far end and much further down the Bermondsey end. It's not, it's not the, the main mile part, is it? It's, it's a bit more of a kind of offshoot of it. Yeah, it's called yeah. Bermondsey Mile, but it goes to Bermondsey from like London Bridge kind of end, doesn't it? But I think they're much better. Yeah, yeah. We never made it that far down, and I assume a lot of people don't if you start at London Bridge. Yeah. I mean, I think one of the first ones was, um, was it the Colonel? I'm not too sure. I, I'm not... I believe they were, yeah. 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 What have they been going about 10 years, 11 years now, Colonel? about that yeah yeah and long may they continue in doing what they do so well oh yeah i've done a live review of one of their beers on friday and just one out in the garden and it's like oh, so good like that was a that was just a citra pale ale and it was just like yeah a mm. bottle i think it was like three pounds fifty i paid for it and it's like oh great value yeah yeah, Steve, I mean, um, Steve, they used to be... Joke. That's a terrible joke, by the way, I'll read it out. Uh, I went to buy some camo pants, but couldn't find any. Sim a simple but terrible joke, thank you. <laughs> boom, boom. It's like, it's like the guy, he rubbed his trousers up and down against his car door, and the, they opened because he was his, wearing his khaki trousers. <laughs> oh. bad. Just as bad. Um, yeah, so he's not here all night. No, he's not here all night. Unfortunately, I am. Um, but yeah, this this marketing melon was going on about like how silly craft beer culture we are, and I quote: "With people sniffing hops and talking about where the hops are from, when a lot of people just want great beer." And I think that's kind of what did it for him because if you don't sniff the hops, now you know what they're going to smell like as a brewer, and people do want to talk about what you know hop aromas and where the hops are from and stuff like that and he sort of made himself look like he don't know nothing about beer it, it, it's yeah you get yeah that that sorry go on sorry no you go ahead mate you go ahead I just you you get this not not just beer journalism or whatever but general journalism where you get because they're there um to a degree i think you, there's a little bit of um oh look at me i'm a journalist kind of thing um, I'm telling you something, listen to me kind of thing but then people who know subjects that they're actually talking to the masses about uh, I, I find that yeah, you, you can pick holes through through what they know straight away when you, yeah. whatever interest it is I've seen it before in other interests it's like 
it's like sloppy journalism, if you ask me. Um, uh, well, I think, yeah, I mean, it's sloppy journalism. The journalist, again, knows more about marketing than beer. So he's obviously put those, like, he or she, I don't know, put those quotes in. Yeah. But I think mm. it says more like the marketing guy don't know too much about beer either. Um, but then, then he went on to, then he went on to take the mickey out of like craft beer names. He's going on about, oh, if you're unfamiliar with an IPA or a session IPA or pale ale, that's confusing enough. But when people put wacky names on top of it, like electro electric disco forklift truck, it makes it harder. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've, I've read, <laughs> which is about halfway through, I'm like, I can't be doing no more. Yeah, it's just like I either either he's picked that out by accident, or he's aware of that beer, disco forklift truck, yeah. or he's specifically having a pop at Drygate. So obviously everybody came out sort of in favour of Drygate, really. Although uh, I mean, I, I've I've had loads of orders out of Drygate. I quite like their beers myself, mm. not just disco forklift truck. But then it sort of all evolved yesterday, and then Drygate come out and said. Well, does anybody want to collaborate on a beer and we'll call it electric disco full lift truck and what should we do? So, it's, like, it's kind of something's good to come out of that. Like, why not? Why not use it? You know, I mean, that, that guy, that, I think it was a guy that, that done it, I think, anyway, whoever. Yeah, um, the marketing guy, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, did, he, he works for that because they, they, they've had this. this they set up that new company offline. Is it Lion Small Brewers? Yeah, Lion Little World, it's called. Well Brewers or something like yeah. that. Yeah, Lion Little World. I mean, I, I'm, I don't know if he, 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 he can't, he's only been with the company, what, a couple of years or whatever it is? Yeah. With Lion, at least. But I don't know what he'd done before that, whether he was in the brewing scene or not. Was no, it, he was marketing with a, a bunch of other... Food and beverage company. I think he was at Pepsi for a while. Pepsi, yeah. And one of the others. So, I mean, that kind of tells you straight away, you know, the level of, I don't know. I mean, perhaps he, I mean, it, it doesn't sound like he knows too much, to be honest. He's coming from a soft drinks thing to beer. So I'm not even sure he knows too much about, I mean, he obviously knows about marketing for massive companies and global sort of companies who kind of ride roughshod over it and do what they want anywhere, I suppose. Yeah. But he, you get it with these, some of these people of power, they just because that, it's, it's, it's kind of a, like a... Yeah. Me, I'm important, um, and that's it. <laughs> Going on about a subject they don't really know, and then people, people yeah. who are in the industry are like, shut up, you idiot, you know? Well, I'm presuming he, I mean, he compounded it. Sorry, go on, Masco. No, no, I think Craig's hit the nail on the head. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's on about. He's a, he's got a skill with words. He's quite um, good at cra um, crafting a an article together. He's popped by his local Sainsbury's. He's seen Disco Forklift Truck, and he's just said, yeah, now I know about craft beer. I'm going to make a load of waffle up. Go on the YouTube. Oh, look, there's a bunch of people sniffing hops. Bam, 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 bam. He doesn't know what he's on about. He's given a load of dribble. I tried to read this article four times. I <laughs> thought it was me, but I'm glad to hear it. No, it's this guy. It's just, it's just poor journalism, I'm sorry to say. And that's it. If Jim the journalist was here, um, um, he'd eat it alive. Well, no, actually he wouldn't. He'd just sniff at it and sip his beer and then talk about something else. But, yeah. Yes. Oh, beautiful! Cheers. Well, beautiful. we we picked it alive, and we're not journalists, you know. What I mean, but then, but then he compounded the issue, or I don't know if it was him, but obviously he must have signed off on it with the the rebrand of Four Pure, where they just they want to take the names out of it and just go for much simpler like packaging and marketing, which is fair play because some breweries do do that, you know, like from Perivale to Colonel, there are simple kind of colours. Simple name mm. sort of thing. I mean, although like obviously Paraval go for beer names to an extent, but like, and and they they they, they made they made an even bigger gaff possibly uh, mm. with their India Pale Ale, and they called it an India Pale Ale, not an IPA, and the tagline on the mm. advert was brewed in Bermondsey, South London, nowhere near India. Uh, have you what? Why what? <laughs> My fucking god! You're not going to help yourself. Apparently, they've now pulled that. And to be fair to them, well, not to be fair to them, somebody at Four Pure has, has gone in and pulled that. And 
a lot of people said to it said about it on Twitter and I saw a thing tonight half seven tonight they've replied to people like Matt Curtis and Roger Potts saying yeah sorry we, we, we that shouldn't have happened that shouldn't have been signed off we've now pulled that advert just um, <laughs> you, you, uh, but, uh, oh. you come out with stuff like that and then they expect to be within the what is it the top three they were talking about of uh, yeah. craft beer breweries it's like Hmm. You've kind of well, fate with, with something like that. Well, again, that backed up the marketing thing that they're not bothered about the beer. They just want to be the numbers. They want to be the cash. Yeah, I mean, they just want the revenue. It's like, well, you've got to have one or the other, and the other. Yeah, sorry, that's such someone trying to be clever. Um, yeah, it, it kind of backfired on you a little bit, silly boy. You know, total, total. Total. His editor's given him a job and he said, go out and do this. And he's just, yeah, whatever. Boom. There must have been a meeting where they all sat around and went, yeah, that'll do. That'll be all right. Uh, evening, Harry. Yeah. Be, be reviews. Thanks for popping in. Good to see you. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, uh, hang on. Oh, there's some comments here from Steve. I'm way behind. Yeah, yeah so, uh, again, I because, because we are, I forget to scroll them back up. Uh, apparently, Lucy's spending all day tomorrow in bed because of the bottle of wine she's yeah. just opened. I saw that, yeah. It's a Sunday. It's Which a bottle of wine is that, Lucy? One, two, or three? I spent all the last Sunday in bed after this stream, so. Mate, you spent all week in bed, let's face it. No, I, you know, I do get up halfway through the morning most days. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to support you, you said halfway through the week. Yeah. <laughs> Go back to bed on a Wednesday night. Right? <laughs> No, I'm, I'm 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 terrible at going to bed, especially yeah. if I was, even if I was skinful like that. I'm not too bad at getting up in the morning normally because the cat jumps on me head when she's hungry. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a furry alarm clock. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, uh, I don't know. I'm out of shouts. Um. This beer is going down really well. Yeah, it's a good Oh my god! I w I want more of this. I mean, it's, 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 um, is it? It's a, it's a lager, is or pilsner or something? Yeah, it's a lager. Um, it's a great beer. I don't believe it's a pilsner, but don't quote me. It's a lovely beer. It's all in foreign language. German. It's German, so yeah. it wouldn't be a pilsner. Yeah, yeah. So there's no way they would put pilsner on their beers. Bottle number two. Yeah, come on. That's all right. I think my entire. Very nice. <laughs> nice one, Lucy. Nice one. You got to leave a little bit of room. You got to leave a little bit of blood in your alcohol stream, and you. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? I'm behind. I'm, I'm oh, like, I do beers one at a time. I don't. I don't double in. I'm. I'm still on the spot after, but I'm going to nick this one and get on to my next no, beer. I'll see you tomorrow at lunchtime at the Watson Brewery then. Lucy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I I, um, I popped around my mum's house today, and um, I had some beer, which was given to me by the Hop and Vine the last time I was in there. That's sort of a food, Craig, you don't know, it's a venue in northwest London, Ricelip, um yeah. and serves cask beer. Cask beer served there. It's a tiny taproom bar. Right. Um, put, putting on cask is a huge risk for them, but they do it. And um, yeah, they're quite, quite nice, and... We we gave them a lot of shout outs um, about a year ago, and they gave me some beer for free. Cool, I quite liked it, and yeah, I like it. Um, it was a roo I had a rooster sour, and I'm on, I'm I'm on kind of a roll with sours at the moment, so I, I kind of got optimistic about it. Yeah, and no, I didn't like it. I'm, I've got <laughs> sorry to say, I've got a load of sours just waiting for the weather to actually get warm. I mean, my, yeah, where I am being right on the coast. It would be absolutely freezing. But the sun's been out. Mm. I'm in the sun, in the sun, sun spot. It's quite nice. But you go in the shade or near the near, near the breeze, you know, exposed sort of headland or whatever, it's absolutely freezing. It's been freezing for ages. Yeah. So I'm just waiting for the wind to turn around. We haven't had any rain either. I can't remember the last time it rained. Like, I'm, I'm talking like really? two months. It's been stupid. In my town, at least. I mean, but it's supposed to have rained on Wednesday. It never did. And it's like little things like that. Like, What's going on? Mm. 
Interesting. So, Kent's going through a drought. Yeah, well, the trouble is where where I live, well, where me and Lucy live, you are fan it in it kind of area. It's um, mm. we have our own weather. We, we could have loads of rain here, and then you go a few miles inland to like Canterbury, you lose the sunshine, and vice versa. The way. Mm. Oh, what's that? Uh, brewery, I don't know if you heard of them, the Park Brewery. They're over in uh, Kingston, oh, yeah. Kingston Park. Oh, okay. Uh, Isabella American Brown Ale. Not heard of them, no. Mm. Yeah, they were re- really small, but again, yeah. during lockdown, managed to get a web shop and get beers out. So. That can looks familiar for some reason. It looks. does look familiar. Um. Again, again, talking about like beer cans. Again, most of theirs. Again, that fairly simple. They've got a bit of artwork, but it's all mostly colours, and I've got that nice logo and the beer name and the beer type and style and ABV on the front of the can. So they've got a lot of different coloured cans. So you might have seen them about the yeah. about the social media somewhere. I think there's a brewery. Well, there's a brewery in West London. I don't know if you've had, ever had anything from them called uh, Jefferson's. But they're pretty good. I was about to say, if you say Fuller's, oh, I think, yeah, we might have heard of them. No, Jefferson's. Yeah. No, Jefferson's. No. No. Because I'm so used to being on my laptop, being online, I was just about getting my phone. Oh, shit, I'm on it. Um <laughs> Let me have a look. Jefferson's. I've got the old laptop just below you. So, uh... <laughs> Jefferson. No, never heard of them. That's prime territory for us, West London as well. It's West London. Yeah. London, I know that. Oh, um, yeah, Richmond upon Thames. There you go. Oh, right. No, right. I mean, it's not that far from me. Obviously, that's South West London. It's the right yeah. side of town. Barnes. 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 Wow. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I used to play football in Barnes, and I was surprised hmm. when I stopped seeing football that there was a brewery in Barnes. I never got a chance to go there, so that must be it. Yeah. Um, again, I think quite small. Is it Barn Barnes Elms? Is it Bar- Barn Elms, Elms? Yeah. Um, um, I mean, I've been to Barnes. I think there's, there's a load of um, well, it's near Heathrow, isn't it? So. Yeah, a little bit further south. It's sort of like on the Barnes is on the Thames. It's like where the boat race goes through. Oh, right. on the way in Hammersmith. Yeah, yeah. It's a yeah. short walk. It's about two miles down the Thames path from Hammersmith. Yeah. Um, so um, I probably have seen them. I've seen them in the last year. I don't know what they because uh, I haven't been going to Barnes for two years. Yeah. Um, just a couple of questions there from Steve Rasco. He says, uh, what films are you looking forward to coming out this year? Uh, that's one for you rather than me. Yeah. About you. <laughs> any any film, to be honest. And Black Widow. There you go. There's a Marvel film I really want to see. Um, just any film in the cinema. I don't really care. He's also asked, have you been to the pubs yet? Yes, me and Craig went to the Hope, actually. We met into the Hope. Um, a, a legendary that's, that's um, a great place. That. that was lovely. Yeah, it, was, it really was. And if you're longer getting in, in pints of the last lockdown, yeah, I'm getting quite. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I've done a little bit of pubbage. I haven't done any pubbage since then, actually. Um, in fact, I asked someone to go to the pub with me today, and they turned me down. So yeah, fuck <laughs> them. Was that disco? Was it disco? I'm not. No comment. No comment on who it was. <laughs> well, it wasn't so much an ask. It was sort of like. <laughs> oh, it wasn't. Like uh, and I saw I, it didn't actually say definitely whether that was, was what was happening and I was doing something anyway but um, yeah so no I haven't been to the pubs yet uh, I kind of don't quite want to do that kind of drinking yet uh, Lord's Brewing welcome okay. I presume it's John uh, welcome uh, thank you for popping into us John very kindly sent me six beers uh, earlier in the I week see. Mm-hmm. Um, he said, "I oh, don't you have to review them and stuff." I was like, uh, I, "I feel a bit," but I was going to actually have one tonight. So um, 
I'm really looking forward to actually at the ones you sent me. I'm really looking forward to um, to this one. Is it the abandoned car? The abandoned car, yeah, I enjoyed that one actually. Yeah, the port. Oh, I was like, oh, cause I don't think I've had a start beer from you guys before. So, so yeah, four point eight porter. Um, I actually want to review that one, so I won't drink that tonight. Um, well, but I've got a few other down down in the fridge, so um, so, yeah. so I really appreciate that. I, I, cheers, John. I mean, I know you touched base with me like Christmas time. I can't remember. Time is just like I yeah. Stuff when you're struggling and stuff, I, was, I you know, God, I can't. I feel guilty, you know. Um, that's a that's a, a really good point, Craig. Like you know, um, yeah, yeah. Cool. If you need it and if you've got it, but um, it's always nice to uh, to try these try new beers and have stuff. I guess. Yeah, I mean, I had a few bits and bats from. They sent me some stuff. Was it last summer? I can't remember. Uh -huh. I, 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 I lose track of time in this in these days, but um, but they, they, were, they were pleasant. But but yeah, now you've gone into canning and stuff. So to be fair, I thought it uh, uh, it was a really good deal. I got a, a box of them uh, I think early on this year, I think, um, and it was a really good deal, uh, good prices for the amount of beers. A uh, box of twelve beers uh, sent down. And uh, I was a little bit gutted actually because of like the whole pandemic. We we was meant to, I was meant to be going to Huddersfield this year because yeah. we we go to Huddersfield in the FA Cup. So I would have loved to have uh, popped along to John's tap room and and checked them out personally. But but for the situation, <laughs> yeah, best way to say it. Isn't it? But but yeah, yeah yeah. Uh, and also, anybody check out uh, definitely check out John uh, Laws Brewing uh, YouTube. They have a good laugh on uh, usually on a Friday night. Uh, a nice well, after work beer that always ends up being a kind of evening beer. Uh, I mean, I do. I, I, generally, this is, I generally do my. Sorry, sorry, uh, Rasko, go for it. What, what's your beer like? It looks good. Oh my god, this the smell of it, mate. All the cocoa and coffee aroma coming through on this. It, a nice, good, tanned head. Looks like a thick body. I mean, it's one of these where you can just. Just smell for hours. I'm not going to smell it for hours, but hashtag yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, and Lord Brewers had his first chat today. Good on you, mate. Oh, fair, fair play to you. Hope you're doing all right. I hope no uh, um, side effects. Uh, yeah, okay, you're, you're jabbed up on the first one. I'm jabbed up on the first one. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm looking forward to the second one. My second one's on the 27th of May. So I had mine, it's, it's, I had mine in early March. It's it's 11% this. Um, I'm going in from a first sip. There we go. It's him. He's, on, he's on the Rasco juice. Rasco Avenue. <laughs> My fucking God. Right. He does it. Yeah. My fucking God, mate. This is good. Oh, my fucking God. You like it, then? <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, mate, this is so smooth. Mate, I'm going back to my Freshfields tomorrow and buying more of this. It's that fucking good. It, it's 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 going down like a milk stout almost. Um, it just there's no alcohol burn. It's just so smooth. It's gliding on my tongue. I thought you were going to say it's going down like the Titanic, then. But yeah, that's another. No, that's another brewery. <laughs> oh, don't get rascal. We might have him. heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> we might have heard of them. <laughs> um, mate, now this is potentially getting a beer of the year nomination. Yeah. That and that. Write it down. Yeah. Write it down. <sighs> yeah, I'm calling it. It's getting a beer of the year nomination. Well, that's uh, that's a big call from a first and second sit. What right, that's. Off the now we do it, I suppose. Off. It's all down. <laughs> I missed a whole bunch of. Uh, I've just seen. I missed a whole bunch of comments, but yeah, it's all down here, downhill from here. So, well, well you know, that's the thing about drinking at home. You haven't got far to stagger. Yeah, by the time you finish, <laughs> by the time you finish it, it'll be awful. 
<laughs> no, mate. Did this for my Island for me last year? They almost got beer of the year, um, and they they've already got a, a nomination. They got a sour nominated for beer of the year for me already, um, and that's a big. That's a, not an easy thing to do. They, they the level of consistency from their beers is just amazing. Um, I'm in love with them. If I go to Manchester, I will have to spend a day at their brewery. Um, and that's not an easy thing because there's a few breweries I want to go to. I want to go to Marvel. Um, desperately want to go to Marvel. But I'm stuck between, you know, Pomona, Pomona Island, Marvel, and pff, I might give them a look in. <laughs> well, I just go down to Tesco's these days, yeah. But, um, well, I'm looking forward to that next. I'd, 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 I'd rather go to track than Cloudwater anyway. So. Go to track. Yeah. Track are great. Yeah. yeah. Who are they? Yeah. Track, track are in Manchester. I thought they were Yorkshire. No, they're, they're, they're Manchester, yeah. Oh, superb. Okay, yeah. I, I don't get to stop in Manchester often enough. I'm always passing through there for football, so hopefully next season. Uh, go to uh, the Marble Arch if you go. If you yeah. Go to the Marble Arch pub. Heard of it? Yeah, it's yeah, the money. It's on a slant. You go in there. It's like this is a weird pub, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. S Scotsman. Yeah, and the Scotsman. Right, right. Um, uh, there are, yeah. mate. Um, yeah, no, the other one, the other one I want to go to, uh, um, talk, I know you guys aren't that bothered about football, I don't know, John and Laws, either, like but uh, Cheltenham got promoted, Cheltenham got promoted um, this this week, so next season I'm hopefully, nice little trip to Cheltenham around the corner from the station, Dare tap room, uh, don't really drink Dare, but I'm looking forward to hopefully a visit to the tap room if it comes off. Oh, the tap room, I mean, I, they, they, I think they've got a new tap room since I went, but I went in like 20... 2019, I can't remember. You know what it's like. The haze of, the, you know, the, the fog of beer to the mind. You, you just, like, what year was that? You know, you take photos of it. Shit, it's four years ago. I don't think I've been to, yeah, same here. I don't think I've been to Cheltenham for about four years, probably. Maybe slightly less than that. Yeah, well, but I, didn't, I didn't even know about a day of them. Yeah, I mean, a load of us met up in Birmingham and we, we ended up on Saturday. We was there for like three days. Saturday, we got the train from Birmingham down to Cheltenham for a day out. Yeah. Bye, Steve. Bye. Thanks, yeah. Steve. Think he's off. Cheers. There was, I'm going to come back to your question, Steve, if you want to watch it afterwards. Uh, he, he did have a good question there, but I'll come back to that in a bit. What, 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 is it, uh, what is it? Where is it? I, I missed it. Uh, so I've got it in mind. I'll come back to it afterwards. Oh, okay. uh, more says Squawk in Manchester as well. I've heard of Squawk, but I don't know anything about them. But, um, yeah, I've not had nothing. Yeah, you were saying about going to Birmingham, Craig. Yeah, well, it's... Um, yeah, oh, the little Smith were on. Cool. Hi, guys. Um, yeah, you've got a load of beers in from the... Or one beer. Or, I know you've got the brewery in at the moment. So I've been watching your, your Instagram feed and untapped feed and stuff like that so yes yeah, so probably I need to get, get my I might, I might pop over um, depends, I mean, depends yeah during the week maybe uh, Wednesday I'm busy I might pop over like Thursday maybe they're in Margate Little Swift that's where I've, I've been getting oh, cool. a lot of my stuff during lockdowns and stuff they've been doing like home deliveries which is like you know, in them times, I haven't been able to get out and, you know, obviously trying to support local breweries and bars like that and as much as I can, you know, I've been yeah. really trying, yeah. trying to but... Well, I've been trying to find a balance between promoting local breweries and much more national stuff as well because I see so much stuff come up and being on the socials and that, like, I want that, I want that and other people posting stuff that I really want to try uh, I, a little swift. I, I agree, but you know that that came up in the chat with Adam last week. You know, um, there's so much regional beer. Like, there's a lot of breweries near him in Yorkshire, which isn't making its way down here. Like Perryvale, he's never tried that. I've been meaning to send him a message. Hey, if you want us to sort you out with some Perryvale, let us know, and we'll send it up to you. Or Mad Yank, Mad Yank, Mad Yank. 
who actually have done an interview with someone else. They've been cheating on us um, <laughs> in some fun. way. Yeah. Um, uh, Phantom, there was over at Phantom doing a collab brew and they had a blog post uh, this week that I promoted. Yeah. Doing sort of fun chats that we had with them. Yeah, Mad, Mad Yank. Mm. It's been going on about Mad Yank for quite a few weeks, maybe a month or two. Um, yeah. They sound, I'm intrigued. I need to... Uh, I need to. I need, I need to remember and um, let me write something down because I'll forget again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, oh yeah, I'll, I'll check them out. I said that about four times. You know, it's just like yeah. Yank. I know a few of them. It's the. It's sort of like the trouble with promoting local breweries. I mean, Paravel, I love to talk about, especially on on, on Instagram and stuff. Mm. And I review their beers, but they haven't. They've got a massive local coverage, um, but they haven't quite got a, a national coverage yet because of the size of the brewery. Getting getting them out is much harder for them. And to a certain extent, Mad Yank are a little bit more like that, but they have got a web shop uh, and you can at least get an order from them. I, I had that Vienna Lager um, back in October. The Don Zoko? Um, Actually, I mean, yeah, I, uh, yeah, there's so many breweries I want to get down or get around to, but obviously, the last year or so, I've just been very kind of, but it's just me. Like, I want, I want local, but I've been really on the local, although I'm getting beers from breweries, but from local, like bottle shops, like the Little Swift. Yeah, um, yeah. Local breweries, I and mean, that, and that's been it. Whatever they've been getting in, I've been trying to. Oh, I'll have this, this, and that. Doing rooms for them, promoting the local bar and the brewery if it's outside the area. Yeah, yeah. Than, you know, yeah. To individual breweries, you know. So it's a bit like that. I'm just thinking of like the long term. Hopefully, this summer it all goes to going. And these guys are still surviving, you know. Nice Absolutely, you know, I, I, I have the same. I have the same thing. Just, just yeah. how do you choose? Sometimes, like trying to work out how to choose. Yeah, just a bit of a conscience thing, you know. It's like, I want them to be there at the end of this, this, this uh, world on fire kind of business, you know. Yeah. Well, here's a random tangent for me and the Scotsman. Uh, he's off, but he had a dream last night about uh, Rasco. I believe he, he's talking about. Rasko was going around no, licking everyone, licking everyone's beer as COVID is over. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't sound like you. No, he's not. No, he's not talking about me, mate. He's talking about someone else. Right. But fair enough. Fair enough. Um, Big phone, nice. Can't wait to lick everyone's face when we're allowed, says Lucy. That's nice. <laughs> yes, um, great. Coming back, coming um, back so to uh, coming back to Steve's question earlier because I'm just talking about the comments here. Um, probably like one for Craig as well. Like ha Steve asked earlier, what do you find easier, an Instagram live or a YouTube live? And I think the answer is probably going to be okay. YouTube live. Yeah, because it's uh, but bigger screen, easier to read the comments. Nice. Yeah, but it's still nice to try something different. Um, yeah. I'm all up for just give it a whirl, see how it goes. I mean, it's a smaller screen being on a, on, on an iPhone. Mm. Um, it's probably a better picture and better sound than my my shitty old laptop that's like 15 years old. Um, <laughs> not for me, for the viewer, but um, so yeah, I, I'm sure they'd rather see me on, on a on my shitty laptop than on a on a better quality. To be fair, but. Well, like as you said earlier, I mean, your your picture and your sound is is proper quality here. I mean, we like we we talked about going over and doing YouTube live, and I've done a couple, as you as you've probably seen. But it's sort of like we we stopped on here because we we got more followers on on Instagram and, yeah, and, and on YouTube. So it was like, well, we got more people to speak to it. So we've kind of stuck, and we got that nice. We sort of engineered this sort of a nice little Saturday night late kind of off the pub kind of deal. I mean, Over despite, here, despite, despite, despite what they say, I, it's good to cross screens. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't cross the screens. Yeah, just do it. <laughs> what, you know, what, mm. what, what the hell? 
That's, that's we'll something. also now Roscoe's found that you can after the event download it from here and actually add it to YouTube. So we end up on YouTube the following week anyway. We're just well, we're, we're a little bit behind, but yeah, yeah. Uh, John's not done a lot. John Lord's Burns says he's not done a lot of Instagram. Well, I'm going to be cheeky at this point, John. If if you if you're free on a Saturday night and you want to pop on and say hello at any point in the future, you would be more than welcome. We'd have a little chat, <laughs> chat about beer and brewing, and we're, like you said earlier, we're not that serious here either. So, no, jo John, what are you doing next weekend? There you go. <laughs> Simple as that. We haven't planned next week. Uh, we've, had, we've had two guests in a row, and I think that's the first time we've had sort of two guests in a row. And we've kind of yeah. doing that. Like. next weekend. But, so, yeah. Sorry. Well, let's, let's face it, you've only had four people on the show, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. It's, it's nice to be on, on, on one of these rather than YouTube. It's, I mean, YouTube has been my kind of thing for... You just get used to it, you know. It's just, but, yeah, it's just, this is a nice change-up. Cool. Craig, were you doing were you doing the is it because of like COVID and lockdown that you've you've got more into the live streams or were you doing that before like the year before? Obviously I know you're doing the videos and the reviews and stuff. We 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 were always done not I mean not not so much myself. Uh, I, I I did do live streams before COVID and stuff. And we all did. We we, we between us we've been doing live streams since twenty fifteen. It's not. It's not been. A, it's not been a recent thing. Mm. Uh, it's just everyone else who never done them before used to review stuff. Started doing live stuff um, because everyone was in, and that yeah. obviously you get these light bulb moments. With if you, you're not so much chasing views and blah blah blah, but just uh, catching up. A lot of people kind of took advantage of that, but we we've, we've been doing it for years. In our, in our little kind of uh, sphere, if you like. But no one watched, but we used to do it because we wanted to catch up with people and we'd, oh, let's go live. Okay, then. I mean, it used to be like, um, we, we went, the platform we use is um, uh, StreamYard. Yeah. Not what most people use now uh, mm. within the beer reviewing brewery stroke whatever community. They use StreamYard. Before yeah. that, was um, it was just uh, like Google Hangouts. Um, it's completely different from what what you see now. You could have up to ten people. Anyone who spoke, it picked up on the sound. It, it, it flicked straight to your camera. It was full screen and all that sort of thing. Um, but then YouTube stopped using um, Google Hangouts, and it just, nothing's really replaced it since. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it's, it's not been it's not new to us during like the early two thousand and twenty. We've been since twenty twenty fifteen. We've been doing this sort of stuff. And yeah, wow. yeah. Back, you know, Good. like Rob from and um, a few others have been doing it way before that. Yeah, yeah. There's quite quite a tight bond between you. Hobzine and um, Jake. I mean, how, how long have you got known each other? Where did you all meet? I I first met Robin uh, about two months after I first started reviewing in 2015. I met him at the uh, the Great British Beer Festival. Um, with he, he was with um, he was with Simon from Real Al Craft Beer when I first. Met oh yeah. Him. I met them both at the same. You know, um, I reached out to Tom. I'm going to go, and if you fancy me, it'd be, it'd be all right to meet up. I was like a little rabbit, hey, hey. little rabbit in headlock. You know who else was there in 2015? Yeah, I, I, I mean, we, we we were at the, the main stage when they announced that was it Cooch from Tiny Rebel won Beer of the Year of that Cooch, year. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we, we, at the time, we were just like, this is ridiculous, and we just walked off. Um, I mean, I, I was like, oh, I, I don't care. I'm just having a good time, you know. Just that they're reviewing, they're doing a lot of collab reviews. Uh, there is a few reviews of us three together. We've done some reviews in, in the press part of it, um, which was awful for me. Um, you know, sitting next to these two at the time, um, 
I mean, but but now if I saw him, I was like, oh, you wank, how you doing, mate? You're all right. <laughs> I don't care. But at the time, it was like, oh. Especially with Rob, I was really kind of starstruck. And now we're like we're really good friends, you know. It's, it's weird. Yeah. It's just people at the end of the day. You know. Well, about, I'd say uh, good night, Steve. It's Steve says he's going, and I, I do apologise, Steve. I've just realised what Steve we're talking to. It's Steve's brewing channel, isn't it? Steve's, um, I, I can't see. Uh, so Steve Byrne, and I did know that was your name, but that's Steve's brewing channel because he just said thanks for coming on his live stream the other week. Sorry, Steve, I didn't realise. I, did, I didn't put two and two together, and I made twenty-seven. <laughs> Steve, I think you might have reviewed this already. By the way. <laughs> But yeah, no, thanks. Uh, mm. Cheers for popping on, Steve. And uh, well, as you're saying, good night. He's off. Um, yes. Yeah. Um, I'm. I'm going to probably have to make a move soon. But sorry, because I can hear things going on upstairs. But um, there, I think there's been a release from the London Craft Beer Festival of new breweries up there. Oh, I checked the site a few times. Yeah, I, I, I haven't seen an update. I, I, know, yeah. I know, I know, I know you're going, Craig. Who are you looking forward to, to, to trying the most? I mean, there's just, um, there's a few breweries that I've never had before. I'm just trying to, I can't, um, you know. let me just have a quick look. So I've got, um, so Trier Festivals, where is it? Uh, well, I know, I believe, I believe John uh, Lord's Brewing is going to be there. Is he? Um, if he wants, he can be on the show next Saturday. <laughs> take, take care. Bye, Lucy. Lucy, goodbye. Thank you very much uh, for everything. And uh, See you enjoy your day in bed tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, oh, here we go. Um, a big brewery on on draft are going to be quite good, I reckon. Um, I want to try mm. I want to try stuff from some uh, Braybrook, which is Lager centric. They're pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, see you soon. Take care. Mm. Um, I just found a list here. Uh, did a Glass House. They're out of Birmingham. Okay. I've heard a lot about Glass House, yeah. I haven't seen anything on their stuff, but I've heard a lot of people talking about them. Yeah, they're, they're, they're cool. Um, Probably Harry, I think. Multi, multi Garden out of Poland. Malt Garden. Mm. Malt Garden. Malt Garden. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're, 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 I mean, some of their stouts, they sound really interesting. Um, well, this is just me flicking through it now, uh, having a little look. I mean, that's, that, yeah, there's a few other bits and bats, but but that that they're, they're, they're um, oh, sorry. um okay, okay. So there, there's some interesting other bits and bats. So there's going to be from America, um, Barrier, Equilibrium, KCBC, um, and Grim. Grim would be quite interesting to try some of their stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know if it's actually... Um, I don't know if it's an old link, but the, I'm sure there's there's been more... Oh, here we go. I've just refreshed the page. So... Cheers, Elton. Good night. I don't know. Perhaps... Yeah, I think that's about... I mean, there's, there's going to be loads. Just there. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a festival I've never been to. Um, oh, it's awesome! So I'm it's brilliant. I'm I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and Pomona Island are there, and uh, Mikella are there. I really want to get to Mikella. Um, and th those are my big primary two. I'm, I've got a whole weekend a ticket. I doubt I can do the whole weekend. <laughs> um, <laughs> I am. I am. Oh yeah. But I just, I'm, just, I'm not, yeah. not going to be like rushing around. I'm just gonna, knowing that you're going to be there for the whole weekend. For me, that's it calms you down a bit. You you just do mm. your own pace, have plenty of food, drink water, quite a lot of water, and that's the way I'm going to play it. Where if I was yeah, one session, you just go absolutely crazy, and it's like I've got oh, 
you know, all this. He's tempting, though, isn't it? He's tempting. Yeah. He's going to be in trouble. Uh, yeah, John, they're talking about Brew London. Uh, Lord's Point, is it? Oh, Brew London, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it with uh, Simon, your, your, your um, stand? I might go. Um, I might, I might go, yeah. I know there's still tickets available. I might, I might. you know, you never know. Because um, I'm going to London really regularly. Brew London? Brew, brew, yeah, Brew London. It used to be, um, oh, what was it used to be? They changed the name to it. Oh, I've just got a, a terrible memory. I, I know, but I can't remember. They changed the name of it from um, last year or whenever it was. I never actually mm. go. A couple of years ago, I was going to go and I was ill. You know, I just sell my ticket and all that sort of shit. Um, but I'll probably, I will be going um, to that as well, I think. But are you there? Are you actually got some right. there, John? Or are you? Um, I'm going. To... Uh, um. Right. Yeah. I mean, what days are you going? I'll, I'll try and get a. I'll, I'll get a ticket for that session, and uh, it'd be nice to meet up if you're down. And obviously, all things considered, and all stuff is still okay by then. Um, I can't remember when it hit. I'm so. I'm so kind of like. Um, beer festivals. There we go. Let's have a look. Uh, 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 um. There's so many festivals that I've got, like, their pages. Uh... <laughs> Brew London. Okay, I'm going to look that up. Oh, and pr I'll probably get a ticket. Hang on, which one? Hang on, I thought right. you was going Brew London, Rasko. Which one are you talking about? No, no. London Craft Beer Festival, I'm going. Oh, oh the... right. Brew London's something different. It's the 29th to the 30th of July of 20... this year. That's July. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry, I thought before. That's, that's me being a dickhead. Then sorry. That's no, before London Craft Beer Festival. So um, it is. Um, okay, I might be able to make it. I might be in France, actually. As you do. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what. I'm just um, we'll see. Checking what breweries. But I did have a look at the breweries list. Um, so you've got. Castle Rock from uh, Nottingham, uh, Big Hug, um, Creative Juices Brewing Company. I've never heard of them. Creative but, Juices, they're just up the road from me in uh, Rickmansworth, like just near kind of Watford Way. Right brewery. out it's, up, up the road in a bit. It's, yeah. not, it's, not quite, it's not quite northwest London, it's kind of just almost, it's not quite outside of the M25, though. Yeah, and, and I've, mm. it, another beer I've had one or two beers from that have been quite nice is uh, Gorgeous Brewery. They're London, I think. Okay. Again, I've seen the yeah. name. I don't know anything about. Lord's Brewing's going to be there. Um, Lost and Found. Cave Director's going to have a lot of stall, I guess. Twisted Barrel. Uh, Firebrand. I think they're Cornwall, I think. Um, no, Firebrand in Newcastle way. Bl uh, Bladen. Is it? No, that's, fi no, uh, that's Firebrick. <laughs> Yeah, I remember. I remember having a beer from them, like when I first started. I thought they were Cornwall, but I yeah, I think like, Fire. Yeah, Firebrand. Oh, I'm thinking of Firebrick in Bladen, Newcastle. Yeah, because then after it, I'm just I'm just picking through like Grand Fruit, Five Points, Signature, um, Overtone was well, Overtone were there. I mean, that wow, come on. Yeah, I know you guys got love for Overtone. We've not quite got around to trying them yet. I mean, they're 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 they're, 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 they're they're a standout. They're unbarred. Um, so all of the big players are there. Now, well, in during the pandemic, oh, oh, is there being room being made for the small players, the upcoming players, or are we just going with the we the big players, the the names we know, just to make sure it sells after a very tight year. There's not another. That's a question. There's none of the massively big players. So, I mean, for me, the highlights would be like Vocation are going to be there. Um, it's, that's quite a subjective term, and it depends on 
it depends whether, whether you think they're a big player or not because you know about the brewery or just me my, my kind of going through the breweries what yeah what am I going to go and if I was going what am I going to go and see yeah uh, full circle brewing they're, they're out is it Newcastle yeah Holtz Yard Newcastle yeah um, so there, there's two obviously I think I'm bored of getting better as well um Overtone is just like that's that's pretty uh, for me. Yeah. Um, and again, I, there's there's a few breweries out. I need to check out more of their stuff to form an opinion if that makes sense. Like Glen Africa gonna be mm. there. Yeah. Um, Brew Brew York, they're gonna be there. Um, there are a few bits and bats. Um. But but generally breweries that there's a lot of breweries I've not not had anything from before, so it'd be quite interesting just to to see what they're about. Um, but yeah, Castle Rock. I mean, they're they're, they're, a, they're a great traditional cost brewery out of Nottingham. Absolutely, yeah. So. That's an interesting point here. John raises like it's Brew London. Uh, are interesting for us. The venue is amazing, but they charge the big boys more and small guys like John less trying to level the playing field. That's kind of handy. That's in terms of like industry, in terms of the trade, like getting, yeah. A, getting everybody together and, and like you say, leveling the playing field for, for everybody to be able to be there and get the word out and get the, get your beers out to people. Yeah. No, it's, it's, Rather it's, than just making as much money as they can as a as a as a trade entity as a festival, it's a great kind of. I mean, by by look look at it, there's um, it's more of a kind of. Um, I mean, is it Lucky Saint? Is that non-alcoholic lager? I think. So yeah. Gonna, I don't know if that's um, whether that's a corporation thing one of the big boys beers or not I don't know um. no they were German brewery uh, again uh, funnily enough Mad Yank were telling us about this and they from Mad Yank because mm. they're from she's from Germany via America right. um, but they, they're marketed over here I think it's like an English company but they're, they're from I don't think it's Bamberg it's somewhere it's it's one of like a well known German brewing town but they're obviously going in as like uh, a low alcohol uh, German beer. Yeah, no, I think the, brewery, the whole festival, it seems, it's like a lot of kind of up and coming breweries or breweries that don't get enough of like recognition and. Yeah. And, 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 and which I think is great. Um, I'm all for that. And I'll be no surprise, different stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm still, you know, I need to sort out when these. I mean, you say, you, you obviously, you get. Are you going to be there, John, if you're still there? Um, oh, it's, uh, it's a cross between Expo and Beer Club. Yeah. Um, I guess you're going to have a stall for the whole thing. So um, what what day is, is everyone going to be there? Um, and then I'll try – is it a Saturday? It's going to be the busier day, I guess, Saturday afternoon. I could, I could probably get a ticket. Well, I can get a ticket and um, – on the Saturday afternoon, yeah, oh, you're there all weekend. I mean, but if um, Simon's going to be there as well, it'd be nice to meet you both at the same time, kind of thing. I could do Saturday afternoon, probably or Saturday, you know, the, the first session on the Saturday. Um, <coughs> I can come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can get your ticket like everybody else, you're asking. No, no, um, be good. I mean, I'll, I won't do the whole thing. One, I think it's just uh, I'll, mm. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do a session. No problem. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a session as well. I mean, I'll, I might, I might, I might, I might do two sessions, maybe, and uh, we'll, we'll see with um, logistics of uh, family circles. But yeah, it ain't a problem. You know, it's just it ain't going to be a problem. It's just I don't want to come back to the. By the time I get back and I do both sessions, I'm going to be a bit kind of merry, I guess, and um, and she's going to be asleep, and I don't want to be too kind of hip-faced. That's, 
I, 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 yeah. I'm thinking about all these sort of things. Even I'm just yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, snoring off over there, you know, away from the. What do you think? I mean, obviously that's like Craig. That's ju that's July. So, are you thinking things will be kind of much more normal then? When do you think things will kind of back to some kind of normality? Are we there's some there's some like good numbers coming out this weekend about cases dropping and stuff and. Yeah, I mean, you never, you're never going to be a hundred percent confident of what could happen. It can only mm -hmm. happened in uh, in December. You know, it was going well, numbers of dropping, and then all of a sudden it just went fuck off. No, you're not. Off um, so you can never tell. I mean, but but with. with by then, the amount of people that have been vaccinated, um, I think that's something you've got to take into account. If something does happen, oh, okay. and that would be a very whatever, then you, the only thing stopping it is if it kind of bypasses the... Uh, and at the moment, it's looking pretty favourable. But, it, it, but you can't be 100 percent but... No, no, well, that's a good point. John reckons eight weeks and a bit of a relax, a big relax. Um, that's a great shout because, again, more people have had the second vaccination by then as well. Yeah. I mean, you've, you, you've been out and about a little bit more than like I have because uh, you, know, you met Rasco up in London. What, what did you think of like being out and about in London? I know you said like the, the buses were pretty empty and stuff still, but you, were you like comf comfortable and confident in going out and about there? Yeah, my, my biggest... Not fear, but kind of not too sure of at the moment when I was in London was going on the underground. Yeah, that that was my. Uh, not sure. I'd rather get the bus, and there was no one on the bus. And but since since I'd done that, there was not there, there were people on the bus, but it wasn't crazy. Um, since, and then I've come back because um, I went to visit people that were vaccinated. So well, and I was vaccinated. Beyond the three week kind of thing, so that, that, I, I put my trust in that. Perhaps I shouldn't have done my daughter and family in London. Yeah, yeah, uh, John, thanks very much. Um, I guess we'll give you a shout maybe uh, early on in the week, and uh, yeah, we'll be yeah, good. Sort of yeah, see you on for chat next week. Uh, thanks for popping in tonight. I know, take care, mate. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you about the channel or the safety during the week anyway. So. Yeah, Thanks, Roger. It's given me a lot more confidence, to be honest. Um, having the vaccine helps, and, and still being careful like you do. But but yeah, I because I, I was scared for quite a while before that. Um, take care, mate. Have a good weekend. Yeah. Have a good one, John. Oh, Thanks, oh, mate. See you, John. Take care, mate. Mm. But yeah, with, with hope and with luck, um, life will be entering uh, some sort of normal-ish, or normal completely, by then. Yeah. Um, let's just keep hoping for it, man. Because, you know, I really want some cask. Uh, uh, mate, when, when we met up and so more we had cars. those pints of cask, <laughs> yeah, that's more, more cask. Yeah, the, I, I mean, I'm, fuck me, did it taste delicious? Well, Rasko, can you carry that foot on for a sec? I've got to move the cat. Yes. Apart from yeah, okay, move the cat. <laughs> yeah, that magic rock mint thing. Oh. It was all right, but I'd rather have had the yeah. more beer code. That was yeah. And that they fucked up on what way round, and then obviously in normal times you'd be like, yeah, you can just swap. Yeah, I feel I feel very really bad for it because it was fucking delicious. It could be. I've had it before, but I've never had it on. I've never had it on cast before. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ne ne now you're making me feel really bad. Yeah, um, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, mate, no mate. Um, oh, I, I'm I'm gagging for some cast. I haven't been back to the pub since. 
because I've had my new job and I've kind of like been taking it easy. Yeah. I've got to like, you know, just watch myself a little bit for the time being. Uh, but, you know, it, it's, it's just amazing how the, the flavour I've been missing because I've been doing a lot of good cans, amazing amount of cans. And when I had the interludes of the pub being open, it has mostly been cake. I found one venue did, or two venues doing cask and once it wasn't really kept well because they just couldn't keep it well yeah. with all the breaks and stoppages they're having. Um, the question, you know, at London Craft Beer Festival and London Brew, uh, what's it, much we call it, do they have cask there or is it all keg? I've never been to Brew London before, so, um, but there, there is, um, there is, there is, uh, at London Craft Beer Festival as well. Fuller's, Fuller's generally released their, ah. their vintage ale on cask at, at that festival. Wow. Yeah. For that, nice. For that year. So it's uber fresh on mm. cask. Nice. Before it's even bottled. Nice. Uh, remember when, when we went in 2019, we, we tried... Uh, I think I was... Yeah. I think I was drunkenly on... Um, on, on um, the Craft Beer Channel, Johnny and Brad's, but they were there. We've seen, we've seen the video, Craig. A couple of years, they said, oh, come on about half. Like, we've been three hours full on it by the time they went live. We were bollocked. We were, were shit-faced. <laughs> well, it, it, made, it made for a good video. We've seen the oh, video. No. no. <laughs> I, we, I doubt if we get asked again. If they do it, though, I'm sorry. Can you can you do it at the beginning of the session, and then if you want to do something later on, I mean, I mean it's up to them, isn't it? But I don't know. I don't know them as well as say Rob does or whatever. Um, I met I met Johnny a few times. Really nice guy, down to earth, like proper. He doesn't. He, nothing's gone to his head, and he's a nice guy. That's the first time I met Brent. Oh. Really nice, what I remember. Um, and it was really nice to be in their company, but I just wish I was a bit more sober. So. Hey, it happens. It happens, mate. Just hammered it. And I was oh, shit, we've got to be in half past two. I was like, oh, fucking hell. We're steaming. I was. Anyway, it's just, just rabbing away about, about bollocks, and it's just like, yeah. You know, it, it it doesn't show with you much, but it does show with Jake. I mean, Jake looked <laughs> fucked. Yeah, I mean, if I'm honest, I think he went before me. He just decided, like, oh, Jake was. Trust me, Jake was. Uh, I had to look after him for a little bit, but you know, <laughs> but the right end. So that's the same thing. We were, after he soaked up a little bit. We went to. Um, Oh, God, we went to the McKellar bar uh, after. Where's that? Yeah. Was it oh, Shoreditch. Shoreditch, that's it. We went, yeah. to Shoreditch, we went to the McKellar bar, had a couple of beers in there, met with someone else. That we, knew. Um, we had a couple of uh, American IPAs had on draft. So that was great. Uh, there we went to Goose Island, just up the road. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had a we had a, we sh we shared one of these massive great big pizzas. Um, I think we had a couple of bottles of Sophie, one one of their farmhouse ales. Um, and yeah, we just we, yeah, we had a great time. He he sobered up. He was fine. But um, yeah, it was, it was just good. It was just good fun. Mm. Cool. That's super. Cool. Know. I'm well, a little bit worried about um, when we go back out again, like. If I go to like a beer fest, it's like whether I'm going to be still standing, like, or am I going to be like, what, what they call a like, two scooter screamer? Like. When, 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 well, you, when you feel you can, go to a few, just do, do a, a session in a pub and get yourself. Yeah. I think that'd be what I'd do anyway. When, when, whenever you feel like you can or whatever. Yeah, I, I think, well, like I said, John's point earlier about eight weeks, I think that might be, you know four to six to eight weeks and it, it things hopefully will be a bit better and a bit That'd more be clear awesome. about what's happening but uh 
I mean, we're in a better position this time last year, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's sort of a little strange time. It's a little kind of like dead period between definitely being okay and just still doing everything that we need to do to like mostly be safe. And that it's kind of... I understand everybody wants, especially for pubs and that everybody wants to get out, but it's like, yeah, I still think you've got to be a bit cautious. But I, maybe I'm being overcautious, I don't know, but I'm still enjoying the beer at home, so <laughs> I've still got so much beer to drink at home. I mean, there's that, but I mean, you've you've had your first one, haven't you? Um, yeah. Go. yeah, yeah, the first one a couple of weeks ago. Has, has that not given you any kind of uh, more of a confidence booster? Sorry, sorry about the pun, but but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, yes and no, but do you know what? Like when you, I don't know about when you went in for yours, like, but when I went into mine, there was no this kitty. Hey, she's climbing up the box. Sorry, she's climbing up the boxes like all the empty boxes over there, and they're about they're gonna fall. I'm like, wow, I've, I've, I didn't get that when I, I went for my jab. But, but yeah. yeah, no, you don't get no cats, no. Um, no. no, like, when oh, oh, thank you, you daft cat. <laughs> Knocked all the boxes over. I piled them up there to do a little, like, that video I was, I was saying about earlier. But no, when I came out, when I came out of there, none of, no, at no point did anybody go, like, you've still got to, like, you know, wear your mask, stay oh, yeah. away from people. So, yeah. It's pretty I mean, it, it takes 21 days and above for that. Yeah. First jab to... So, so my worry is there's a certain amount of people that are going to go in and go, I've had the jab, I'm fucking invincible now, I'm going to go and do what I want, when I want, blah, blah, blah. So I'm still kind of staying... It's what my mate calls low, low, lowest common denominator. You know, I know that I'm okay, and you're okay, blah, 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 but it's just the idiots. You, you've got to be kind of aware of the idiots, I think. Yeah, no, I, I get what you're saying, but, it, it, mm. but for me personally, it's given me a hell of a lot more. And, uh, and, and it's not, it, uh, I, I combine it with not just that I've had the jab, but what, what's going on locally to you if you put your email or your postcode to the government thing and you can find out what's going on locally to you if you've been yeah. in the mm. area. So the, My... I, I, I combine that with, with me having a jab. I don't yeah. Know the other day we had no cases at all locally. So, wow. Cool. Great. Superb, yeah. So, so my, my that, issue is that, because... That, that just breaks down all this kind of anxiety or worry for me. Mm. The, main, the main worry for me is, as an asthmatic, I mean, I don't look at my asthmatic, and my mate who is a doctor said very early on, he, he don't really know about it, but he, he don't really know the consequences. But he, as far as he's aware, being an asthmatic and having COVID would not be a fun experience. So I just stopped going anywhere or doing anything. Hey, a bit of pressure drop on there. No pressure drop. I'd have crack open another 10%. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I just put aside a 10% though, in, in favour of six, just because it's now tomorrow. And <laughs> I thought, like, but this is this is actually out of date. This is not the latest batch. It's been re-released, like in the last. Yeah, so yeah. This this was actually uh, packaged on the thirteenth of October, so it's actually out of date. But by well, I don't know, couple of weeks. From the thirteenth of October, and it's out of date. Yeah, it, they gave it a date until the thirteenth of April. So. Uh, okay, yeah, I suppose. I mean, is that because it's actually got banana in it rather than it being yeah, a stout? But banana stout, ten percent. This is the this is the first batch. So I was going to review it, but it's like I don't like reviewing out of date beer, so I'm just going to crack it open. Enjoy, mate. Enjoy. I got nothing left. I'm done. I probably shouldn't though. <laughs> ah well. It's it's. Anyway, fellas, I, mean, I, I think if we're gonna, we've done a good, I think, solid two hours. I think if we're going to go, then I'll, I'll leave it. I, I could get shit faced for no reason. Well, I, I think I think we're on that point of that little cusp of do we, don't we? I mean, I I, yeah. I just got one, but no, doesn't I, mean that we have to I'm, carry I'm on. I'm very happy to. Uh, I mean, it was up to you, your guys. So it's up to you. I, you I, I'm very happy to, to clear off. 
you two can go onto YouTube and have a chat if you want. Um, I've got to clear off. I, I am out of beer, literally. Um, I thank you, Craig, for coming on the show. I appreciate it's it. It's much appreciated. I appreciate you inviting me, mate. It's, um, it's been a long time coming, I think. Mm. But, um, Absolutely, yeah. But yeah, it's great to... Yeah. Well, eventually, I'll meet you as well, uh, Disco, at some point. Oh, definitely at some point this year we'll be out and about uh, once, like I say, everything gets back to... Yeah, once you're comfortable and stuff, just yeah. let, let us know and I, I, I can... Whenever you say I can go to London on a weekend and Litland's always going to be looked after and stuff and, I, I, yeah, I can I can go out and about and whatever. Yeah, yeah. no, but absolutely. If you, uh, if you are up this way, we'll, uh, we'll get yeah. something sorted out. Well, I'm, going uh, I'm, going visit. Up, I'm going back up next weekend, actually. So, um, okay. um, just for a couple of days, you know. So, whatever. I mean, it's too early, I know, for the next cool. weekend. But going forward, going forward into the summer, um, yeah. Just let me know. Let me know when you when you feel ready, and it'd be great to have another beer. Absolutely, mate. Yeah, and no, I definitely one hundred percent. Superb. Mm. Okay. Uh, should we? Should we just? Uh, because I've got to work out how to uh, save and stuff. Should we? Should we call it a night there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, um, thank you, Craig, for popping in, and we'll we'll do this again sometime. Probably in, in between that, before the summer, maybe. If you want to come on again, we we can always have a little chat on a Saturday night if you're not doing out else. Yeah. Well, you can come on on a Friday or on my thing if you if you want. So. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Um, if we're about, uh, I always say thanks at the end for everybody who's joined in. By the way, anybody who's looking, watching in afterwards, or putting on YouTube, thanks for popping in, drop some comments. Um, it's too many people. There's actually been a lot of people tonight. I think Craig, I've got to say a big hat tip to you. You've, you've brought a lot of people in tonight. We don't look too much at numbers. It's not about that, but uh, numbers. The numbers. It is. It is. Yeah. Who doesn't go afterwards has actually got well into double figures, and I think that's the highest that we've ever had. So, thank you very much for that. Thank you much, everybody. Uh, enjoyed a bit. Yeah. Goodbye, good night. Take care. <laughs> Believe enough <laughs> to lose control. <laughs> someday we'll explain. Adios. It. So, someday, exactly. yeah. Bye bye. Uh, I say goodbye. I've actually got to work out how to do it. Because normally Rasco does all this. <laughs> I don't know. Bye. Thank you. All right. If it, if it all dies, it all dies. But here we go. I think this is the one. Good night, Craig. Thanks a lot, mate. See ya. Bye.